You don't want to hear our show about a small town in Alaska? What are you, chicken? It's time for Cool Weird Awesome, where we're always clucking about something interesting. I'm Brady. It's Wednesday, March 30th. Today in 1867, U.S. Secretary of State William Seward agreed to a deal where the United States would spend $7.2 million to acquire the land now known as Alaska. A lot of people then ridiculed the Alaska Purchase. They called the land Seward's Folly, and they joked that maybe he was just trying to find a place for then-President Andrew Johnson to stash some polar bears. Of course, today, Alaska is one of the 50 United States, one that in some ways is like no other state. For example, it's the only state with territory in the Arctic Circle, and it's the only state that has a gold rush era town that they meant to name for one bird and named for an entirely different bird instead. This is the story of Chicken, Alaska, officially a census designated area in eastern Alaska, not far from the border with Canada's Yukon. In the 19th century, miners came to the area because they'd heard gold was plentiful there. The thing that wasn't necessarily plentiful was food. Even today, this is a pretty remote place. Back then, there definitely wasn't much in the way of stores or restaurants. The miners relied on ptarmigan, which the State Department of Fish and Game calls a, quote, stout sociable bird. It's common in the region and was eaten by the miners. When enough people had come to the area, there was talk that they might as well start a town. The story goes that they originally wanted to call their town Ptarmigan, but they either couldn't agree on the right way to spell the bird with the silent P in its name, or they thought too many people outside the town would have trouble with its unusual spelling. So it said they decided why not just pick a different bird's name, and the town of Chicken, Alaska was born. Which is just as well, because not only can visitors enjoy the beautiful scenery and the Gold Rush era tourist attractions, there's also an annual music festival there each June, and it's named Chicken Stock. You can learn more about Chicken Alaska at CoolWeirdAwesome.com and on Twitter at CoolWeirdPod. And coming up, we're going to write something up and then take all the words out. No, really, that's what's after this. Make Cool Weird Awesome even cooler with your voice. What's your favorite weird world record? The strangest statue you've ever seen? The fun fact that nobody knows but everybody should? Send us a voice message on the Anchor app. Or try a voice tweet. Or call our listener line at 603-717-4653. That's 603-717-4653. Make sure to include your name and where you're from. And you might hear yourself on the show. Welcome back. Book of Joe just recommended an unusual website called Just the Punctuation. As the name suggests, you can type in any kind of text you want, and when you're done, it will remove all the letters while leaving the periods, commas, semicolons, question marks, and so forth all in place. I'm Brady. At that stage, it definitely looks like one of those old computer program punch cards. Thanks for listening, and come back again tomorrow for more cool, weird, awesome. Another helpful Brady Carlson project.